Johnny Pink. Hey, uh, how are you guys? Johnny Pink. Welcome in, man. Johnny Pink, man, I want to say thanks for joining me on this one. I, about uh, two weeks ago, I think it was, well, it doesn't really matter because whenever you watch this is when you watch it, but uh, James called me. They were getting, he and his wife were getting ready to go to New York and he could not find the lens that he wanted to walk around with, which is the Nikon 35 to 85, I think it is. Um, we have the same lenses. He called me and he said, hey, can you check in your bag, see if I left it in there? But And I, I found one of my lenses that I have. And I forgot that I have this. This is a Nikon 35 to 135. It is old. I did some research on it. Uh, this came out. It's a 3.5, so it's not really, really fast. It first came out in October of 1984. The first version of that was full manual. It is versatile in that it is not only a 35 to 135, but if you push that button and you spin it, the, the front pops out, and it can do macro. And that one, you have manual focus only, so you're doing the rocking method that James is really good at. And two years after that is when it came out with the, the autofocus that I have here. The focus or the, the zoom on this is a push-pull, so if you're shooting straight up, you really have to hold the barrel this way. Not a problem but again I forgot that I had this lens so I went out shooting with it it's not a birding lens it doesn't have a really close focal range you have to step back a couple of meters uh, or about six feet or so it it's really really cool though is it an incredible lens no but it is you can probably pick it up used for about 80 bucks so that's one of the advantages to DSLRs, since everyone is falling into that mirrorless craze, is these old lenses, some of them are phenomenal, are relatively inexpensive. And this was just, this is just a fun lens. It's, it's, it's a versatile lens. Right now, this is on the D800 because that's what I was shooting last night. <laughs> I think my D800 is starting to die. It, uh, it's got some noise on the, the sensor and I will try and clean that off again. But other than that, it still works great and the colors are phenomenal. And then I had it, I've had it on the D750. I have a whole bunch of cameras here and you can't see the clutter on my desk. And this is my 850. Half this stuff is open because I was out shooting stars all last night. And then this one is, oh, this is the 780 and this is the 850. It works great on all of them because they're all DSLRs and they all accept that F mount. And Canon, you can find all these wonderful old lenses as well. And they're not cheap, but they're inexpensive compared to what they were new. And as more people gravitate, as I said, towards, say, Sony, which I think is a hype, it's just a point and shoot on steroids. And their pictures are terrible. This little Canon M50 that I'm shooting on shoots. 10 times better photos and the color is just amazing. So what I did is I went out shooting and I walked pretty much the same way each day. I went out the front, down the street. There's a whole bunch of bees. I was shooting those. Now, a couple of these that I'm going to show you, I did put into AI to, you know, just to bring out a little bit more. And I think I put those up on Instagram. But most of these are straight out of the camera, put into Lightroom, developed, and I would do it each day. The birds in the park, you really have to have some some good light for that. Is this the cleanest lens? No, it's not. Is it the best lens? No, it's an average lens. It's a lot of fun, but that, don't forget, that's what photography is supposed to be. So on everything I was shooting complete manual, I did put it into auto ISO and I was watching it inside, 
inside when you're on uh, auto ISO in a Nikon, it'll still show you where your ISO is sitting. So uh, with the D800, I tried not to get above 400, maybe 800 at the most, because that sensor does get noisy at that point. Um, the 750 was a lot of fun because as I was shooting, <laughs> it's older and the buffering was click, 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 click. So the sensor was buffering. Whereas um, the 800 is a little bit better, but you're only going click, 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 click um, on, on high. And the 850, of course, is an amazing camera. And so is the 780. It's just a smaller version of that with, with better autofocus for video. So having rambled and rambled and having gushed and gushed about this lens because it was fun, hang out with me. Um, let me show you some of these photos. And again, like I've said before on, on some of my camera videos, man, thank you so much. If you made it this far, thanks for hanging out with me and thank you for letting me show some, uh, share some of my photos with you. It's just supposed to be fun. Uh, these, I would not use this lens if, if we were doing a gig. I would use one of my expensive pro-level lenses. But this one, as I said, you can find it used for about 80, 90 bucks. Uh, it's a fun lens. It's And again, that's all it's versatile i did some wonderful astrophotography stuff i don't think that 35 was as wide as i wanted to go so i switched over to a 20 mil uh, normally i would put a 14 and i would have a couple of cameras going at the same time but for walking around in this low light it's it acquires focus pretty fast not super fast and it's not super slow it was just fun and again that's it i think that's another advantage to sticking with the dslrs is um the lenses, these old lenses, they're fun. You can find some fun things and, and kind of be creative with it. If you want to do some lens whacking, just, you know, you just pull the lens off and get some light flares in there, or you take some, some cellophane off to the side as you're shooting something and, and you get some of the light flares coming in that way too. It's just fun. Man, Johnny Pink doesn't say it. This is just a, a simple black shirt. Johnny Pink saying thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a fantastic day, whatever it is you're going to do out there. Um, just have fun. We'll see you guys out on the road, and most likely, I will have a camera. If you see me out in a somewhere, you might even see me with this lens because I've had so much fun with it. We'll see you guys. Have a great day.